Welcome back to my declutter with me series. In this video, I am tackling my closet and it was not fun. I'm going to be showing you how I organize it and teaching you how I managed to keep the master bedroom looking completely clutter free. And obviously the before and after. I know it's a long one, but stick with me. I had some revelations and I made a solemn promise to myself going forward. Let's go. Laura from How To Get Your Shit Together and I help you get organized, get motivated and get rid of clutter. Again, I loosely followed the KonMari method here. I pulled everything out, I asked if it sparked joy and then everything that was staying was given a specific home. Okay, let's just jump straight in. Closet day. Um, this is gonna be a little bit awkward to film just because it's a really small space and it's quite dark. Anyway, we're working with what we've got. I am... Um, <sighs> fed up with this space. <laughs> like it's a lovely big closet, it's a really big walk-in closet and I'm so lucky that we have it. But, you know, after a while it starts to get messy like everything else. Um, I have some stuff in here that I haven't unpacked from Ireland, which was two months ago. I've bought a whole load of new clothes but I haven't got rid of any old ones. Um, so yeah, let me show you what the space looks like now and then tell you what the plan is. Okay, back wall has shoes. You'll notice they're pretty much all mine, <laughs> except for like these view here on the bottom, which are Sam's. Moving over here then. Okay, so the t there are two rails. So the top rail is for Sam's hanging stuff and the bottom rail is for my hanging stuff. Um, this is the suitcase that I still have not fully unpacked from Ireland. There is a bag of clothes there that I bought when my parents were over. They are not fully unpacked either. So this is kind of one of the main reasons that I wanted to tackle this space. Lots of empty hangers. Over here then, these are the scub boxes from Ikea. So I use those for like socks and underwear and things. But you can see there's like a little pile of clothes starting to form there as well. Um, and then this is jewellery. I love this case, but I really don't like it being out kind of on display like that. But I really can't think of anywhere else to put it. So it's there for now. And then these are Sam's clothes here. And I have some planners that I actually found in a shoebox recently. <laughs> um, on the top then is, I think this mostly belongs to Sam. He's just thrown some stuff over there except that hat which is my big sun hat that I wear on holidays. Um, for my clothes this side is clean clothes so I start with kind of short sleeve or strappy tops, short sleeve t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, shirts, um, jumpers, skirts, trousers and then at the back hoodies. And then these clothes over here, well, these ones are actually Christmas jumpers, which have to go down into the basement with all the rest of the Christmas stuff. Um, but this stuff in here is stuff that I have worn, but can be worn again. And then finally coming around this side. So this is kind of a mix of mine and Sam's stuff. First, I have some dressing gowns just hanging up here. These are some of Sam's suits. These are my coats, jackets, my suits, my fancy dresses, kind of more casual dresses. And then here at the front is where I pick out my outfits for the week. So every Sunday I pick out my outfits for the coming week and I just put them here. Um, on the top then, this is very messy as you can see, but all my bags um, are there. Basically when we unpacked, when we first moved here, um, I just threw them all up there to get them out of the way, but I haven't actually done anything with them since. There's another scub box here that has like belts and things in it. I don't think I have looked in that box since we moved in here. And these are trousers that do not currently fit me. All too small. I'll have to go through those as well. That's what the space looks like. That's it there. Another pan, Sam's clothes, my clothes, and the shoes. Yeah, a lot of work to be done here. <sighs> yeah. So the plan is to take everything, everything out of the closet and pop it all in the bedroom here. All the clothes will be on the bed, all the shoes and stuff will be on the floor, but I'm really not looking forward to this 
part of the process but I think if I just get stuck in it probably won't actually take me that long um, it's just building up the actual motivation to do it actually just before I start kind of a, like a quick tip for you um, people ask how I keep the bedroom so clean we still have to put a skirt on this bed and we have one but we just haven't put it on yet but anyway and um, this room is always clean um, there's never anything like sitting out or around and my secret is in here <laughs> my husband leaves clothes all over the floor here on his side of the bed and I just pick them up and I fling them all in here but then I just close the door over and it doesn't exist. Magic. In the drawers he's got underwear and socks. And then the skirt for the bed in here. You can see how dusty that is. Um, but yeah, that's my little secret for the people who have been asking um, how to keep the room clean or how I keep the master bedroom clean. Okay, now I'm starting. <laughs> As usual, the first task was to pull everything out of the space. I don't enjoy doing this and it would have been so much easier to just leave everything and go through it all in situ, but I know from lots of experience that starting with a clean slate is the best way to ensure that one, the room is fully cleaned and two, I am extra picky about what I put back in. Seeing an empty space makes me less likely to want to fill it back up with crap. Gonna need a little step for these ones. Cause I'm too tiny to reach. <sighs> well that was horrendous and I hate everything. <sighs> um, it took me a little over half an hour to empty out the room <sighs> and it was tough going, it was hard work, but I am um, I am already regretting this. Let me show you. This is everything. For a brief breakdown, these are Sam's clothes, Sam's shoes and some extra clothes belonging to him. These are all my clothes. Um, some kind of extra clothes and tights and underwear and socks there. Um, some boots. And um, these are the trousers that no longer fit me, or certainly didn't a few months ago anyway. Maybe they will fit me now, I'm not sure. Um, bags. Bags and bags and bags. Bags and bags and bags. Some belts and things. Swimwear. Shoes. <laughs> um, the suitcase from Ireland. Random bits, more boots. These are empty. Empty shoe boxes. Apart from one, I think there's a pair of shoes in the bottom box. Christmas jumpers, all the spare hangers, jewellery, and then some random bits, planners and other jewellery and stuff that was on top of this. Let me show you the space itself, all emptied out. This is how it looks now. I walk into it. Oh, so everything is gone. And it's all echoey. Blank slate now. <sighs> yeah. It's now almost time to collect Scout from school and all I've done is empty the closet. I now have to go through everything, everything. I have to clean this closet. I have to have all of this done. I have to have the room like cleared out before bedtime tonight. <sighs> Why did I do this? Oh. Right, okay, I'm just gonna have to get stuck in. Like I have to do it now because I have to sleep in that bed tonight. Um, let's go sleep in the spare room. <laughs> it may come to that. <laughs> right, I'll just, I'll go through everything one by one. I'm not going to be touching any of Sam's stuff. Um, I just took it out so that the closet would be empty, but that's, like, I don't um, ever go through any of his stuff without his say, so I'm just babbling now because I'm trying to put off going through all this stuff. But I have to do it. I have to do it, so. Here we go. One of my New Year's resolutions this year was to improve my style. So the past few years, I found myself getting a bit frumpy. Um, so I wanted to freshen things up. 
that meant buying a lot of new clothes. Um, you'll have seen most of them in my What I Spent My Money On series. So even though I've been through the KonMari method twice, as well as a pre-move decluttering spree, I probably have as many clothes now as before I started any of those. But I was hopeful that this time around, they'd all actually spark joy. Okay, took me a little over an hour to go through everything, um, which is much quicker than I was expecting, in fairness. But I did not enjoy that process at all. I did not get rid of nearly as much stuff as I thought I would. Um, and it was just, I think the problem was there was so much stuff and it was spread out everywhere that it was really difficult to maneuver. What I should have done maybe is like take the shoes out first, go through them and kind of set them aside, then maybe take the clothes out, etc. But yeah, I was just falling over everything and it made it very frustrating, but it's done. So let me show you all the different piles okay starting here bags that i am keeping um shoes that i am keeping all of them in fact um jewelry that i'm keeping i have taken out some stuff and these are just empty hangers now clothes hangers all the clothes that i'm keeping um and like pajamas and underwear and things um all there like i said Sam stuff, I'm not doing anything with that, so that's all staying there. And this is the maybe pile. This is stuff I'm just not 100% sure of. Um, so there are some bags, there are some clothes. Um, I'll go through all those later. This is a pile of clothes that I don't think currently fits me. So I'm going to go through them, try them on. Uh, they're clothes that I love, um, so I don't want to get rid of. Um, but if they don't fit me, they'll have to be put aside. Um, with a date on them. This is junk. That's just going in the bin. This is my teeny tiny <laughs> donation pile. I'm hoping I'll be able to add to it a little bit when I go through everything that's in the laundry room, but probably not that much. Um, these are clothes that I'm definitely keeping, but they need to be washed. And this is stuff that I'm also keeping, but needs to go elsewhere. So yeah, that's, that's the situation. It's not pretty. I'm tired, I'm fed up. <sighs> oh, how I hate these wire shelves. Um, but until we own a home, I have to put up with them. Um, but it's nice to be able to give everything a good clean. I dusted down the shelving and the baseboards and vacuumed the floor. Okay, all clean. My husband is home and he's delighted <laughs> that all the stuff is all over our bedroom. <laughs> a big struggle I have now, like a big dilemma I have, is whether or not to put out of season stuff back in. So in the KonMari method, she says just to put everything into your closet, like not to have stuff stored away elsewhere. And while I was living in Ireland, that was fine because our seasons aren't as defined as the seasons here in Ohio. I'll start by just putting in the in-season things, so kind of the summer, the warm weather stuff, and then see how I feel about what's left. First, I'll put back in all of Sam's stuff, <laughs> just so he feels better about the whole process. I am done for the day. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, I spent about an hour and a half-ish putting stuff away and it's still not all away and I am just... I'm fed up with it and I'm tired. Like physically, my back is sore, my legs are sore. I don't know why it, this has been so frustrating, but definitely done for today. Definitely. I, Laura Hutchinson, do solemnly swear that I will never let laundry pile up like that again. I will never have that amount of ironing to do again. My poor back. <sighs> it is now two days later, I think. Um, I have been up to my eyeballs in ironing. That was a nightmare. Anyway. 
what I've done is this morning I have I'm so close to the end now thankfully <laughs> but this morning I went through all of my maybe pile and my I don't think these fit me anymore pile um so let me show you kind of how I've separated them out so these here are all of the clothes that do not currently fit me but that I still love so I'm going to put those aside um, and if they still don't fit me in two to three months those are going to be donated once and for all and that makes me feel very anxious <laughs> these are the ones that I've tried on and actually do now fit me so these are going to be hung back up in the closet I just want to wash run some of them through the wash first and um, because they've been kind of just sitting sitting around the closet for quite a while um, and over here then on the floor is so these clothes are going to be donated um, some of them I'm fine about some of them are hard um, honestly hard to let go of this is a skirt that has not fit me in a long time and I've held on to it and I do love it but the reality is it doesn't fit me. It's probably never going to fit me again. Um, but it's really hard. Um, it's really hard for me to let go of that one. The reason I think it's so hard for me to let go of that is it is a skirt that I wore when I was practicing law. I think I was in my second year of law uh, when I bought it. And it just... I loved it and I thought it looked like hot shit in it. Um, it's one of those wiggle skirts, so like, you know, it's like really hard to actually walk in. Um, but yeah, I used to just strut around the courts in Dublin, feeling great. Um, it was a good time in my life. Uh, I was really independent. Um, you know, my career was taking off. I had just bought a house. Um, things were going well. Um, so that's that skirt is kind of like oh it's just a symbol of that time and I know that sounds ridiculous but I've held on to it all these years because I thought you know even if I never fit back into it the skirt still brings me joy in a sense um because it reminds me of a time when I felt really independent and really powerful and you know grown up and um but the reality is that I am not all of those things anymore I am um, I'm not a lawyer anymore which is fine I like I really love my career now and law is not something that I want to go back to but I was really young and independent <laughs> back then um now I'm older like I'm not old but I'm older and you know I have a child now and yeah I just it's sad for me to let that go but on the other hand it's it would be more sad for me to keep it and just see it every day hanging in my closet as a reminder of some of the things that I don't have anymore and you know a life that I don't live anymore so yeah I'm letting go of the skirt and you know that whole past life so bye bye skirt this dress I also love but I've tried it on and it just does nothing for me anymore but it's a beautiful beautiful dress hopefully someone else will buy it and love it um then a bag and just some kind of clips and a bikini that I love I love these colors um but I just feel so uncomfortable wearing it basically um, and just a book light that I found so yeah <sighs> it's done it's done. First, here's a reminder of how it used to look. And now... Ta-da! Oh, I'll give you the sweep around. So all the bags are now in like some form of order. Um, I do want to get kind of you know those like filler things so that they will stand up properly but that's all them all lined up there I have a scub box that's got some clutch bags in it and some shapewear here then is where I'm going to be like the same as before where I keep my outfits that I'm going to be wearing for the week um, behind those then are jackets 
blazers. These are the ones that I'm keeping in here. And then I've got some skirts, casual dresses, and these ones at the back are kind of slightly more kind of work style dresses. Um, and then the dressing gowns um, are hanging there. That's not a great place for them, but I mean, if this weren't a rental, I would stick some hooks on this door and pop them back there. Sam's clothes up here. Um, these do not look amazing, but I have to be realistic in the sense that Sam is not going to like put the same amount of care and effort <laughs> into you know making sure that any of this looks nice and tidy or neat or anything like that. So it is what it is. I've just got to go with it. Um, all his clothes are there, and then these are all my <laughs> clothes. Actually, they're not all my clothes, but so before I just had like a few over this side and a few over this side. And then I went and like washed and ironed pretty much almost everything in the laundry room and um, put them all back in, most of them back in. And that's all of them, but they look much neater. Um, so that's kind of something. Um, and then just in the corner, I have just a little cushion, a memento cushion and my sun hat. Um, Nothing up here. Oh, doesn't that look so lovely and clean and tidy? Um, and then shoes. So at the top I have put like flat sandals and these are running shoes and just some ankle boots. Here I've got my kind of canvas type shoes um, plus these little running shoes here. Here are all my Converse or Converse style trainers plus the ones that I'm actually wearing <laughs> right now. That's what that gap is. These are kind of slightly casual, more casual style heels, and then these are slightly fancier heels. And then these are Sam's shoes. Here at the bottom in the corner, I've got my slippers tucked away under there. You can see my little unicorn slippers. Um, so yeah, let me give you one more pan here. Shoes, my clothes looking all lovely and neat. Sam's clothes looking as neat as they're ever going to look pretty much. Um, dresses, jackets, skirts, plus my outfits, and bags and accessories. Okay, so there seem to be a lot more clothes in there, um, but you may have noticed that you didn't see the scub boxes and my jewellery box um, and some other little bits. So I made the decision that I was going to take out everything that was out of season. And I'm glad I did because I barely got this stuff back in <laughs> once I had washed everything that was in the laundry room. Um, you see, most of the time I have a huge amount of clothes in the laundry room. So I never actually see the full extent of how many clothes I have. But now that I have washed and ironed most of them, there are still some in there. Anywho, all my winter coats, um, some jumpers, you call them sweaters, um, like really warm hoodies and my fancier dresses, like things that I would only wear if I was going to a wedding, stuff like that. I have put those, plus all my winter boots, things like that. Um, anything that I'm definitely not going to be wearing in the summer, basically, unless I want to like sweat off about six kilos. <laughs> they are in the closet in one of the guest rooms. I'll show you. Here we are, here is the closet. It was already a mess beforehand because we just keep random bits in here, wrapping paper and things, um, and Sam keeps basically all of his artwork in there, like not stuff that he's drawn, but like all his pictures and stuff, because again, we're in a rental, we can't hang any of this stuff up, plus a spare TV <laughs> for some reason. Um, so I have put all of his suits in here, all of my coats, like hoodies and jumpers, and then my nice dresses are back there, and then all my boots and things, anything I'm not going to be wearing throughout the summer are in there as well. So that is uh, this closet. Let me show you what I have done with my kind of like socks and underwear and workout gear and stuff. That stuff is all now in here, in my bathroom, which is right next to the closet. And that is everything in there. So I've got socks underneath that is like pajamas, so loungewear. Um, Underwear, bras go here, but I have them in the laundry room to wash all of them. Um, here are some like 
thermal tops and things. Again, I'm not gonna be wearing those anytime soon, so I pop them in there. And then underneath is workout gear. Let me show you what I have done with my jewelry box. I am so happy with this. So you'll remember this kind of dresser or end table, whatever you want to call it, where I just stash all of Sam's clothes. They're still just all stashed in there. But in this side, squeaky door, ta-da! I am so happy with this setup. So I took out the shelf that was there and just like put it there, just did it all out. And my jewelry box fit in there pretty much perfectly. And I am so, so excited about that. So now in the morning, I can go into the bathroom, get like underwear and socks on, pop into the closet, which is in here, um, get dressed and then come out here and put on any finishing touches. Um, and I've got the full length mirror just right here. Hello. <laughs> I am so pleased with this setup. I can't, I can't even describe how happy I am with this, but this was the perfect solution for me. It's just behind a closed door. When I open it up, I can still see everything, but it's not something messing up the room or making everything look cluttered. And then very briefly, these are all the things I'm donating. So it's not much, um, admittedly, but still better than nothing. There are still a few things there, still some clothes that are going. I am so happy with how this space turned out. Um, even Sam said it looks, and I quote, much neater. Oh. <laughs> I can now see everything at a glance. It's all set up in a certain way. I don't have to look at clothes that don't fit me anymore. I've separated those out. I've put those actually in the linen closet. Um, and if they don't fit me come August, that's it. They're gone. Look how neat all of these are. <laughs> that is my closet reveal. It like, I don't know if it was that amazing. It's amazing to me. I don't know if it's amazing to you watching, but it is a huge improvement. So yeah, I is happy. Yeah, that was awful. I don't know why I didn't enjoy it. I think maybe it's because I started so late in the day and that I was under a huge amount of pressure to get the bedroom back into decent shape. Plus there was stuff everywhere. I was constantly tripping over shoes. But, you know, the space now looks great. And I hope I never have to declutter it like that again. The whole process took me about nine hours, and that was including about four or five hours of ironing. Between myself and Sam, we probably managed to remove about a third of the stuff from the closet. Most of that went elsewhere. Um, a lot of it would have been out of season stuff. Some of it was binned and some of it is sitting in a donation box where it will probably stay for the next six months or more. But I am so glad that that is done. What is the toughest space that you have ever tackled? Let me know in the comments below. And subscribe to the channel if you want to follow along with my Declutter With Me series. I'm not really sure what space I'm going to tackle next. I'm thinking either food storage, so like pantry, fridge, freezer, that sort of stuff, or the mudroom. Maybe you could help me out. Have your say. Until next time, I am off to have a long lie down. It has been a stressful week. Kura mila magwev. Agus pegi me shifshikalua. Slán. Thank <laughs> you.